Varsity Club, welcome back to another classic. The recruiting battle is heating up a ton and the big person everybody wants to know about is Warren Fullwood. Now the good news is that we're the only school in the entire nation that has offered Warren Fullwood a opportunity to play for a scholarship, which is good, but we're like 2600 points behind. So we got a lot of work to do. We had a really good visit with Garrett Neely as well. So now we're sitting back in the lead here. We're going up 785 points. So we've got honestly a pretty good lead with the cut sort of coming up. So we just got to lock him up soon and these teams will go away. Willie Mouton is a guy that I've really been looking at as well. If you go ahead and look at what his scouting is, I mean, great speed. Uh, he's got really good man in zone coverage, I think, for a prospect that's a 71 overall. So I think there's a lot of potential here. But the problem is... Week 10 is coming up. Texas Tech's going to have a recruiting visit, and we are all the way down 2,550 points. But we're increasing. We're almost to the point where we can actually go ahead and do a visit. So my hope is we can get in there, get some points, get a visit, skyrocket up, and then be in contention. There's also the incredible Christoph Houston, who this dude has 99 acceleration, 84 speed. He's an incredible prospect overall, plus 13, one of the biggest gems we've ever found in Cascade Valley. And currently, we are second on his list. We went up 535 points last week. We maxed out our points. He's at a week 14 visit for Eastern Washington, but as you can tell, we're getting close to a visit for him. Once we get a visit, we ain't letting them go. Sean Stewart continues his reign of dominance, so 22 carries, 131 yards, two touchdowns, plus a whole bunch of receiving yards last week, and he's still number one in the Heisman list, which is where he belongs. Behind him is Reggie Jenkins from Army. You have Will Hawkins uh, from Florida. You have Derek Jefferson from LSU and Eric Scott from Ole Miss. You can tell all these guys are running backs in the Heisman list, which is kind of what happens most of the time in real life, but where are the quarterbacks at? From a top 25 standpoint, what's kind of weird to me is that we blew out Illinois 42 to 10, and then we're sitting here actually He's still the number three, which it is what it is. But San Jose State uh, ends up losing to Boise State, which keeps them at number two. LSU ends up beating Wisconsin, which again helps them stay at number one. But I feel like there's some disrespect being thrown in our name. We should be in top two, Edwards. But I get it. They haven't lost. And obviously, the big injury update here is Joe Kendrick. Still nine weeks of the broken ribs. McDonald stepped up, I think, pretty huge last week. But again, some big tough tests for him. Wisconsin this week will be one of those. And then Mike Hemphill, six weeks of the partially torn MCO. Had he completely torn it, we wouldn't have seen him ever again. But he's got an opportunity to come back six weeks from now. Just hopefully he's healthy then and doesn't sit out a couple more games. And to kind of give you a look at our schedule here, we have Wisconsin, Nebraska, Minnesota, Rutgers, who's number 21 in the nation right now, LSU, who's number one in the nation right now, and then Purdue. That is six games if you don't want to do the math that did it for you, which means if we can play for a conference championship game, we would have Mike Hemphill back. That is huge. The chances of getting Joe Kendrick back, we'll see how the weeks play out, but it's honestly pretty slim. But if McDonald keeps balling out, I don't know what we do. Cascade Valley back out here, ready to get things going. McDonald's going to hand this one off to Sean Stewart, who again is the top vote getter potentially for the Heisman right now. If you talk about overall ratings, look, we have a significantly better team than what Wisconsin has. And we have injuries all across the field with some of our most important players. We've got guys that are just trying to figure things out right now in a team that needs to find its identity. I mean, sure, we beat up on an Illinois team last week that really isn't very good, but still, oh Lord, McDonald running for his life. They immediately got in the backfield and Wisconsin kind of came to play. So a not so great punt. Wisconsin all of a sudden has really good field position right now. Quarterbacks underneath center. They're going with a little bit of a run. George Fry though is getting everybody. Shackleford is coming over a little bit. Make sure he's got his guy. They go with a little wide receiver screen and we absolutely get blocks of everybody's business and they get a three yard gain. That play could have went a whole lot longer than what it did, but luckily our team got things going. Stephen Lowe comes in to go for another screen. It's not going to work. An easy tackle means they're probably punting. Wisconsin's doing as we expect though. A little punt here. Tom Baker ready to see if he can get a return. He's got an opportunity here all the way over in the hash mark. Tries to go for something. Not a lot, but he gets seven. Speaking of Tom Baker, though, man, this dude has found ways to get it done this season. He absolutely love to see it. We got RJ Riley here in the slot. McDonald hoping to have more pass protection time than what he had last time, which was absolutely abysmal. He's out here running. Probably going to throw one deep in the field, but he gets out of bounds after 11. Tom Baker didn't get the ball in the last time, but he is going to have an opportunity here. A little wide receiver motion option. McDonald. Keeps it, flips one out here. Baker's got some room here. Baker's got a little bit of opportunity. Gets past the 30, nearly to the 25 and a 29 yard rush. Can't forget about your best player though. McDonald literally breathing like me after I go up one flight of stairs. Gonna hand it off to Sean Stewart. Excuse me, not hand it off, but let this man run it a little bit after a catch. First down here, McDonald's still looking like me out of breath. Little pass out of the edge. Revels dropped that one. Are you kidding me? You gotta take that and get in, young fella. Brandon Revels, the redshirt freshman. He's got a 57 catch rating. And we saw it right there. Big opportunity, though, second and 10. McDonald flows one in his right to RJ Riley, who's in there 16 yards. We got a touchdown, ladies and gentlemen. We got that lead.
love how that played together. McDonald saw the corner come up a little bit there, knew that he had an opportunity to get the ball deep to his guy. If one more guy bit, and that he did. Little pass one out here. Matthew Fowler says, excuse me. I got some more interceptions to add to this record. Fowler makes an absolutely huge play there. You love to see a safety up in the box. Gonna float one. Baker's got an opportunity. Call the doctor, because Tom Baker says everybody's sick with him. Cascade Valley team is playing the right teams at the absolute right time, and they are clicking amazing right now. This ball goes across the middle. Stephen Lowe whips an attack with the Mel Hill. Can't quite get him, and Bernard Harvey gets him after 21. I just love how this offense is playing, man. McDonald, who beginning of the season, people were saying this dude should switch positions because he wasn't getting the job done after the injury to Joe Kendrick, which sucked. McDonald's look pretty good. And to complicate things, we have an unbelievable slate of talent coming in at the quarterback position going into next season and the seasons after. So... Some decisions got to be made, like, is Lonnie Young going to go down? And wait, speaking of that, Lonnie Young is going, oh, not Lonnie Young. Tim Long, the quarterback, is actually going to be injured on the play. So Wisconsin's passing game has not been good. Now they have to rely on their backup quarterback, who literally hasn't warmed up at all. And this is going to be his first opportunity to get into the game. Chopping our guys back a little bit, see what the backup quarterback can do in third and long. They go with a halfback screen. I don't blame him, honestly. The quarterback hasn't warmed up. Go for something short. It doesn't obviously work out, and they may be kicking a field goal of best. The offense has looked incredible. The defense is absolutely looking like one of the best in the nation, and we're coming out here to see what we can do back out here in the offense. Sean Stewart. Hey, maybe hit the weight room, young fella? Sean Stewart's on the field, still looking for his jock strap. We'll ultimately find out if he ends up finding it in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. And Patrick McDonald, can this man get some blocks, please? We find out that Long actually has a concussion. He's out for the game. If you play this Cascade Valley defense, you better have that chin strap a little tight, buddy. We out here coming for you. Pause, if needed. McDonald, though, who's been hit literally an insane amount today, says YOLO, and thank God that didn't end up poorly. Punts haven't exactly worked out our way so far today. We've been sort of mediocre, I think. You know who's not mediocre? George Fry. Give the man an award right now. Well, second and 11. Shukair taking his time, looking for something. He's throwing one deep, and what a pass to Malloy there, who's going to pick up some yards as Bass brings him down. First quarter's winding down. Wisconsin, again, trying to put their first points on the board. Their backup quarterback at least is getting plenty of time to throw the rock, and when he is, he's absolutely dotting up our defense. We'll be honest, with their starting quarterback, things did not look good. This dude, Diego Shukair, is standing in the pocket and delivering some impre impressive throws that are literally lighting us up. Throws another one here. Bernard Harvey, clueless. Clueless. He should have been in the movie. Eight seconds left here in the first. Shukair under center. They go with a little fullback dive. Big fullbacks over there in the Big Ten. And you know what they do? They get in the end zone. Hey, look, we got a little comfortable. The backup quarterback came in. We thought we were going to be okay. But we got to remember, we are playing at Wisconsin. This is not an easy environment to thrive in. And Sean Stewart, literally, what happened to him? Look, I'm going to be honest. I didn't really make it far in my football career. But I do know one thing. If your back hits the ground before your feet, that is not good. What is happening? McDonald's going to keep one here. He's got plenty of time. He's going to get the first down. First and 10 again. Getting with a little play action so far today. McDonald. Yeah. Okay. I think the one thing we're forgetting a little bit is that this team is built around quick throws, quick plays, and that's where we thrive. When we hold it a little bit too long, and, you know, things ain't really working our way. McDonald, though, sees something he likes. Throws it over here. Tom Baker says, excuse me, where are your ankles? <gasps> Can't find them. On aisle 12? No, it's on aisle 15. That's where Tom Baker is after 49 yards. Tom Baker's just that dude, man. We've had receiver after receiver who goes on hot streak after hot streak. Guys that disappear for weeks on end, but guys that keep fighting. And Tom Baker has really found a resurgence here in his last year in Cascade Valley. Second is short, going right back here to Sean Stewart. Sean Stewart finding gap after gap. He's going to get himself down about the three. Terrence Williams comes in. Takes it on the goal line, and he becomes a touchdown vulture, much like Sean Stewart was in his first couple of seasons. Williams gets a touchdown from the starting running back. The league is extended again. We feel pretty good about ourselves, you know? Life could be significantly worse than what it is right now. Shackleford, thank you. Trying our best to get a little bit of pressure on this quarterback who is just continuously lighting us up right now. The little quarterback keeper, they pitch this one out. Fowler comes from the other side of the field to force him not out, and we see him get pushed out by Demel Hill after 13. Look, Wisconsin might be down double digits, but this is a team that is not giving up, despite the starting quarterback being out of the game. Walker going way in the backfield. Wisconsin has some pretty funky lineups and formations, if you ask me, and they are making us confused. Well, second and four, Action Shukair makes an adjustment right under center. Stephen Lowe and company just cannot get to him. The big boys of Wisconsin are making sure that we do not get to the QB. They are protecting their backup quarterback, unlike they protected their starter. We might just start going with a heavier defensive front because they have 6,000 people on the defensive, I'm using the offensive line, and oh my God, we're whiffing. 
It's like me and Little League Baseball again. Bring in a little bit more pressure here. Hopefully, we can mix things up. Fry trying to get at the quarterback still today. Probably not going to happen in this possession. Should care. Holds it for a pretty long time. Bernard Harvey over the top, but Mario Walker gets 10. Look, I'm not going to tell Wisconsin like, what to do because I'm not their head coach, but Diego Chukere is 8 for 8 for like 95 yards right now. This young man is literally it. You know, he's him. He's him. And you know, for Tim Long and his family, I know the concussion sucks, and you're probably getting that diagnosis trying to figure things out, but you should probably look at the transfer portal. It's not really it. Don't come to Cascade Valley. We don't want you, okay? We don't want you at all. We don't. Who is this fullback? Our defense obviously looked incredible those first couple of drives against Wisconsin's offense, but all of a sudden, this little backup quarterback has put a wrinkle in here. We didn't really game plan for him. He's been in the pocket significantly more than we expected, and this dude is killing it. The film that we watched had Tim Long scrambling a little bit and moving around a whole lot more and trying to stretch the defense, and who cares? It's like, nah, I'm just going to chill in the pocket and literally carve you up. And so we are in shambles because of it, just like RJ Riley's putting this defense in shambles with 11 yards. I know who cares getting a lot of love, especially from us at the moment, but our guy McDonald's is absolutely killing it. Speaking of McDonald, though, drops back, delivers a strike here. Who else but Mr. Baker? Throwing a man to the ground like he's a small child. Not saying he's just those small children in the ground, but I'm just using it as a comparison. The fullback action, seeing George Baird in the backfield. Picks up a great block, which lets Stewart nearly go to a huge game, but he's end up getting ankle tackled. Second to three, Stewart's going to slide out. Wilson looks over across the middle. He's open, and he nearly gets into the end zone. He's going to be stopped about seven yards short. 149 yards, two touchdowns, only a couple of incompletions on the day. Love what I'm seeing from Patrick McDonald right now. Terrence Williams trying to fight through the middle. He nearly gets in the end zone again and a big five yards. Two yard line, second and goal, trying to get our lead back to double digits. This ball goes off to Sean Stewart, who's in the end zone again. You love to see a two yard touchdown run, big fella. Celebrate a little. You deserve it. Two carries, Wisconsin offense are trying to keep things going right now. The running game has been very good. The passing game has been extremely good. And our defense needs a break. Two minutes left. Yeah, they got a lot of misdirection here. We don't really know who's going where, but they are finding ways to get back to the line at minimum. The good news we have right now is that Wisconsin is 0 for 2 on third down conversions, but only so long that can probably happen. George Fry looking for something. We're going to see the defense get there. Mitchell. Mitchell gets him for a loss of seven yards. We're going to call a timeout. We only have one left, but we got an opportunity for a good punt return. Tom Baker's had a fantastic game so far. Caught a touchdown, ran for about 29 yards on one big run, and now he's got a chance for another big punt return. He hasn't really had a major punt return since that huge return he had for a touchdown a couple of weeks ago, but this might be the one. Baker looking, tries to get out to the edge. Probably not going to be a lot of room here in the edge, but hey, 20 yards is huge, especially with the 124 in the clock. You likely saw the graphic there, but already Tom Baker is over 100 plus all purpose yards today. He's been incredible. McDonald summons Baker over, speak of the devil. Looking for some blocking here. Sean Stewart gets some great blocking on the edge. The man is trying to get into the end zone. He's got a race to the corner. Can Sean Stewart get in? Ladies and gentlemen, he does. Back to back drives. The man's got a touchdown yet again. The defense hasn't really lived up to the hype so far in today's game outside of the first few drives. But man, the offense has been really good. The running game, the passing game, everything has been good on that side of the ball. Wisconsin, though, got a lot of time left. A minute on the clock. Second and four. Two carry shotgun. A lot of pressure, but George Fry, not great in man coverage. And you see the result of that as he goes eight for 18. Our goal, though, is to hold him to a field goal. Don't get anything more than a field goal. A touchdown here is definitely an L. We want to keep them as far down as humanly possible going into the second half. Shukair throws one to Mill Hill nearly there, but he can't stop the pass. Gerard Beschel, six grabs, 70 yards already today. That's just inexcusable. Why is a dude like that getting this many yards on us? What are we doing now? Mario Walker goes for a big gain inside the 20. I don't want to put all the pressure on one guy, but I really feel like this team has not been as good in pass coverage since the loss of Mike Hemphill. It's just, you know, a big player goes down, and this team has got to figure it figured out over the middle, on the edge, wherever. Teams are attacking us through this secondary. Trying our best to get a stop here, second and three. They've been running slants all day. They go for the short stuff here. James Mitchell ain't having it. Even with that great play, Shukair is still 14 for 14 on the afternoon. Third and one. Can imagine he's going for something here. He checks down, check down. Charlie and Matthew Fowler ain't having it. What a hit. Are you kidding me? We tried to ice the kicker. It ultimately didn't work. This man's too experienced. Okay, he's too talented. So they're going to line up here for a pretty easy shot. Pretty much an extra point in the NFL at this point. Fourth and one. This one is up. This one is down the middle. That one is going to be good. The lead goes... And now 35 to 17. Not bad. So at halftime, a whole lot of things to love on offense, not a lot to love on defense. But you know what? We still love big. Wisconsin started with the ball the second half, didn't really do much into punting it out after about a little bit of their drive going stalled. And the heck is Sean Stewart doing? McDonald here in second and eleven. Looking for a block. 
throws one backwards and are you kidding me that was dropped you gotta catch that for me i mean we talked about wisconsin not being great on third downs we're literally over two on third downs right now not exactly ideal third and 11 mcdonald makes another adjustment here he's got his guys he sees something he's gonna fight i think he'll be okay hey coach mervin mcmurvin has never seen a fourth down they didn't want to go for so here we are fourth and short trying to set the tone here Defense is not going to get the job done. Sean Stewart gets what he wants, and that's a first down. You're in the middle of the field like that. You got the momentum. Sometimes you just got to go ahead and let your opponent know that they're just not good enough. And that's what happened there. McDonald makes another adjustment here. It's like zone defense. See him scrambling a little bit, and he's just going to get rid of that one. Six minutes left here in the third. There's so much happening right now. McDonald just wants his guys to keep going, but they just bail on him every time. I think a big part of our problem right now is we're looking for stuff deep down the field. We're trying to make things overdevelop. We need to just keep it a little bit more simple and potentially be fine. Oh, Willis has got a potential step. He's hit as he throws that one, and that one's picked off by Mitchell. McDonald had been nearly perfect until that point, but Broderick Mitchell says, not today. I'm getting one. Now, it is a little bit interesting right now. Wisconsin, deep in the wrong territory. Quarterback's in sort of a... Hybrid shotgun said he rolls out to the side. He throws one and we have nobody on Burley. Are you kidding me? Shackelford is going to try to get there. He does. And that is 49 yards later. They're in midfield now. James Mitchell was on coverage that time. Absolutely got destroyed. But to his credit, he's a linebacker and I really used to dealing with press coverage. And he got destroyed by a very good wide receiver on that drive. Second and 12. They go out here with a little bit of a toss. Fry gets to the edge. A lot of young and got nowhere to hide when that man is there. 0 for 5 on third downs. I think we're 0 for 3 on third down conversions right now. What exactly is happening on third downs here in Wisconsin? Literally nothing positive. Giving him a couple things underneath. They go for something across the middle. Who else but George Fry to get the tackle? We've done a few things that aren't exactly smart. That last drive was probably the biggest departure I think we've had from how smart and good our play calling has been today. Second and three, McDonald. Likes the adjustments he's got. The pressure is just real. It's super real. We got to figure out how to get rid of this ball quicker. Over four and third downs. Will we ever convert on third downs? The answer is, dear God, no one knows. Try to get some quick options here for our guy. RJ Riley, not known as a speedster, but he can get open in space and make some plays. You got to feel for Riley a little bit. Had that early touchdown on an absolutely beautiful route. Probably the best route runner I think we have on the team, but hadn't really seen much of him since then. First down. Pressure coming to McDonald a little bit. You see him rolling. He got some guys potentially, but he gets out of bounds after two. Terrence Williams on second and eight. Comes in to spell out, Sean. Williams looked pretty good there and almost got the first. Big third down to four. Sean Stewart comes back in the game. Got the big tight end open and Gatewood completely sees that. Sean Stewart comes in and gets a tackle, which you never want to see in Wisconsin. They have the ball back again. This feels like one of those things that we throw that right when he breaks that route. It's probably absolutely good. We get 15, 20 yards and we're good to go. But because we throw it late, we pay the price. Things that happen when you have a freshman quarterback, you got to deal with it. But you know what? At some point, we'll be fine. Two care breaking ankles. Jesus Christ. George Fry threw this, man. He broke two ankles. Fry gets up as his owner. You still up? Let me go and tackle you. And just to put it out there, George Fry is literally 10 tackles in the afternoon. This man is an animal. Okay. Double digit tackles multiple times already this season. This dude just moves different. Pressure getting into two carries. Throwing one deep. We got Matthew Fowl. Okay, then. Thanks to an incredible defensive effort and a backup quarterback who did not expect to play today. Wisconsin's right back in this game, only down 11. And we are playing not smart football. Jeremy Willis, who literally has not touched the rock today, is finding his way out here. Willis, oh, breaking the ankles. Big fella. Who said he can't move? Who said? Jeremy Willis has just been incredible for us. He's had so many big plays, so many big moments. And he just finds ways to just shock you every single time. We've obviously had a lot of uncertainty at quarterback, a lot of different issues at quarterback over the course of his career, but good Lord has that man been fun to watch. McDonald, just <laughs> slide, please. While we've been absolutely atrocious on third down, I mean, the good news is we are absolutely killing it inside the red zone. Third quarter's winding down. We ain't picking up the blitzes at all. I don't see him and neither do the offensive linemen. Second and Emmett Smith is what we have basically right now. Not exactly what I would call good. We have a whole lot of people in the game playing that aren't necessarily supposed to be playing. 
We do have Sean Stewart out here streaking it. Sean Stewart first receiving touchdown of the game goes for 27. Just when things were looking bad, Sean Stewart saves the day. That's why he's on top of the Heisman list right now, okay? You better get it correct. George Fry chasing down Lonnie Young for the zillion times today, but it's Bernard Harvey who gets the tackle. Diego Chukair is 19 for 20. And a whole lot of yards this afternoon. This man has just been unbelievably better than the starting quarterback. If I'm Wisconsin, I'm starting that man. And George Fry nearly gets the pick six on that play. I'm going to say, though, if George Fry doesn't win linebacker of the year, the award's rigged. This man has gotten double digit tackles so many times. He's been great. Not super great in coverage, but how many linebackers really are great in coverage? You know, how many? And if you're being a weirdo and type in some linebacker who's great in coverage in the comments, I hate you. But I also love you for leaving a comment in this video. So thank you. Stephen Lowe trying to get a little bit of pressure. Hasn't really had heard much from him today. And this ball's on way out of bounds by Chukar. A little one characteristic. Second down, Chukar's in shotgun. They go off the edge. Matthew Fowler getting torched by Mario Walker. I mean, call me crazy, but I've heard that a lot today. 35 yards for him. We have been running a lot of man today. I think that's probably part of the reason why a lot of our guys are getting torched, like Matthew Fowler, who maybe gets torched once or so a game, but he's been torched multiple times today, which hasn't really worked out in his favor. This quarterback, though, is throwing stuff all over the field. You got to be kidding me. Burley nearly got that. Well, second and 10. Obviously, pass plays. Who cares? The only guy in the backfield. They go underneath again. This one's Myrick and George Fry might have just sealed the deal with an award on that hit. I mean, even Darren Sharper, one of the hardest hidden safeties in the league, felt that hit right there. You got to love what you're seeing from George Fry and this team. I get that Wisconsin is down, but this team is staying alive right now. They got an opportunity to get close again. Stephen Lowe would have blown that play up. Jonas Shackelford gets absolutely blown up, and Malloy is back in the end zone again. I'm going to be honest right now. Wisconsin scares me a little bit. They're going for two to make it a 10-point game. Tucare has been incredible. He's looking for something. Throws it back across his body. That was incomplete, but they're still only down 12. We've got the ball. Six minutes left. Wisconsin has all their timeouts. We've got a 12-point lead. Tom Hill and Sean Stewart go to work. You already know. Look at this man just carrying the team right now. Sean Stewart is under 15 carries and over 120 yards. I mean, that's a heck of an afternoon in the field, if you ask me. Look at him again. Just fighting. You cannot bring this man down easily. Second is short. We'll hand off to the left-hand side. Sean Stewart showing the wheels, but a veteran move stays back in bounds with a cutback. Four and a half minutes left. Terrence Williams in the game. Baker slides back over here to the backfield as well behind Miner. This play worked absolute wonders earlier. It's going to work again. It's Tom Baker showing off the 94 speed until they catch this man. How fast are these dudes? But 33 yards for Tom Baker gives him a heck of an afternoon. In hindsight, it probably would have been smart to not go out of bounds, but it is what it is. We got the extra yards we wanted. McDonald literally playing Trent Dilfer here, just managing the game, hands this ball off to Sean Stewart, who picks up three. The offense though is doing their job here. They are wasting time on the clock and making sure that Wisconsin doesn't really have a ton of time to fight back. And Sean Stewart unfortunately goes down for a loss of four in that play, making it third and long. McDonald got to warm his arm back up, hasn't thrown a pass in a little bit. But he sees pay dirt potentially. He's going to slide in bounds. But doesn't want to get a force out of bounds. Wants to keep that clock running. Sean Stewart's had a heck of a game. Two rushing touchdowns, a receiving touchdown off an incredible play. And he's trying to get in the end zone for the third time this afternoon. Wisconsin has been loading the middle up, but Sean Stewart don't care about your low defense. He gets nine here. And with that play, Wisconsin uses the first timeout. 210 left. Wisconsin's down 12. Ladies and gentlemen, make that a whole lot more. There's been an insane amount of offensive yards gained this game. And Wisconsin down 19 with 58 seconds left is just trying to add a little bit more to that. But you're on pace for over 500 today, which would be wild. They checked out a little bit. Stephen Logan's the tackle, but they do get 11. I mean, realistically, though, we're playing for pride at this point. We are just trying to not give up more points to Wisconsin, who already has 30 against the number three team in the nation, one of the best defenses in the nation. They've been dotting us up. Shackelford. Hey, look, he's a freshman. <laughs> we're going to work on it, okay? We're going to work on it. Wisconsin lining up for the onside kick here. All we got to do is recover, and we're going to walk out here with an easy W. This ball goes to Jeremy Willis. No chance this man fumbles, okay? He's too large. He's too large. So a game was a little bit closer than, you know, maybe we wanted it to be, but still, we will take the W. Stewart goes for 161, three touchdowns on the ground, 44 through the air, just like last week in a touchdown. That's a Heisman, if you ask me. Patrick McDonald had a pretty solid game. He had some issues that we'll ultimately work on cleaning up, but he's a freshman. You got to expect some of those. 188 through the air, three touchdowns, two bad interceptions, got sacked three times, but... There's some work to be done on the ground though with Sarn Stewart. You already saw what he did with the three touchdowns. Terrence Williams chimed in with another touchdown of his own. Uh, we saw Tom Baker go for 62 in the ground and Willis go for 48 with a huge run late in the game. 
On the receiving side, Stewart is 44, Baker is 3 for 83 with a touchdown, and RJ Riley gets a touchdown early in the game on the best route, in my opinion. Again, Baker 100 plus uh, all purpose yards. You'd love to see that. On the defensive side, George Fry again, huge game. 12 solo tackles, two of those being for loss. James Mitchell has seven, Stephen Lowe had seven, a quiet seven, if you ask me. Bernard Harvey has six out there. From a sack perspective, you see one from Kendall Lowens, one from James Mitchell. Interceptions, we only had one today by Matthew Fowler, but honestly, it was a pretty good one. Yes, there are things to work on and things to clean up, but offensively, I will take the production we did today. Defensively, we just got to work to be a little bit better. The turnovers didn't help us, but still, defense needs to be better. Offense, just hold what you're doing and we'll be fine because we are working our way to get to the conference championship game. And if we get there and if we win that one, we got a couple of players coming back that are going to make some big time impact in their senior season. And with those seniors, we want to send them out the right way. He had another national championship here in Cascade Valley. Be safe, be smart, tell somebody you love them. Catch you guys in the next one.